Welcome to this short introductory presentation on MindGenius, the leading business productivity and business mind mapping software. I'm Jamie MacDonald, a part of the MindGenius team here. Uh, the aim of the presentation is to provide you with a short introduction and overview of the use and key benefits of MindGenius in everyday business situations. Recognising though that we only have 15 minutes, this presentation will only cover the high level core functionality of MindGenius. So let's go straight to MindGenius and use it uh, live throughout the presentation. Firstly, let's look at what is MindGenius. MindGenius is a business productivity tool with an intuitive mind mapping functionality at its core designed to increase personal, team, and organizational effectiveness. Integrating with Microsoft Office, Outlook, and Project, MindGenius enhances and complements the productivity tools that you already use every day. MindGenius is specifically designed to ensure that ideas, knowledge, and information are captured, understood, decided on, and more importantly, acted on. This capture, understand, decide, and act model is what we at MindGenius call the information journey. To put this information journey into everyday practical context, it applies to every business activity that we engage in on a day-to-day -day basis. Our planning sessions, our meetings, brainstorming sessions, managing objectives, tasks and actions, our project planning and project management activities and so on. I'm sure you'll agree too that all of these everyday business activities require an absolute need for clarity and focus as well as the need to be delivered on time in the most efficient and cost effective and productive ways possible. So let's use some live practical examples of how using MindGenius will bring increased efficiency and productivity to your everyday business activities. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to effortlessly and effectively capture ideas, knowledge and information by building a map. For the purposes of the demonstration, we can imagine, if we will, that we're going to plan a user group event. I select uh, the new map icon and now simply start typing my topic or subject matter in the map core that is already uh, waiting, uh, a awaiting a typed entry. Having typed my topic, I simply press enter or the return key on my keyboard. It's as simple as that. This type and return function is the quickest and easiest way to start a map and in fact the easiest way to quickly further add information and develop and build on your content. So as you can see, all I'm doing to further uh, add information to the map is simply the type and the return function. And if I just add a few branches, that gives us the basis then to uh, develop uh, this presentation further. So you just bear with me. I'll just type and return a few ideas. And you can see the speed at which in a, in a live brainstorm, it's actually as quick as typing up post-it pads or, or writing issues uh, on a board. So all I'm doing there is, is type and, and return. So as we type and return on any branch, and in fact on any level, if I now decide I'm going to, to tease out or drill down a particular level, if I select select venue, I can, for instance, add in uh, that we're going to have to review uh, the locations, that we're going to have to agree uh, the catering, and that's just a, a, an example. So you can see the map begins to take shape. In real practical terms, in your day-to-day -day thinking, your idea capturing, your scoping sessions, and your planning situations, your knowledge, your ideas, your information, your experience, your creativity, 
gets quickly captured. It gets, you can drill down on it to any level of detail, allowing you to fully explore and visualize the subject matter. All of this saving time and effort and being more productive than, a, as I mentioned, the more cumbersome traditional methods. Sometimes, uh, when we're brainstorming, all our ideas just flow, and we tend to capture them in a continuous, flat structure, if you will. But what about identifying themes, groupings, and patterns around information? We've already seen that we can select a branch and add to it, and we can, we can drill down to, to any level. But what if, in this particular brainstorm, we decide that within the user group example, for instance, that determine objectives and develop the agenda are actually subsets of uh, something that was put in previously, the identifying the target audience. We can quickly and effortlessly, what we call drag and drop branches into parent-child relationships, or as you can see, groupings. Any branch can be moved from anywhere in the map to any other location in the map. This, of course, enhances visualization and creates a sense of topic relationships, hierarchy, order sequence, or, or priority. We can build order and sequence and hierarchy. In real practical terms, this structuring provides further clarity on any given subject matter or piece of knowledge and aids understanding around that topic. And in fact, it also, in life situations, gives you the ability to identify gaps in your thinking or gaps in the process. So as well as visualizing what's there, you can also see what's not there more easily. A very important function for building knowledge and maps, as well as navigating map content, is the Map Explorer. Map Explorer replicates the structure of the map. Selecting a topic on the map isolates that particular aspect of information and brings it into your screen view. This particular element provides you with more white space on your map area to enable you to add further knowledge, information, and experience around uh, this topic. This is extremely useful for getting you away from the clutter and noise of a potentially complex situation or a complex project and allows you to focus on any aspect of it. It provides you with the additional benefit of allowing you not only to explore the topic and navigate complexity, to pre present your findings in terms of meetings, mapping sessions, and allow you to, to review and revisit uh, content a massively more visually engaging uh, format than cumbersome uh, whiteboards, flip charts, and, and post-it pads. If I show you how this user group exercise would have ended up, uh, just as an example, I have another map here showing the complete uh, mapped user group process. I can navigate the map and collapse any of the branches to fully explore and gain better understanding of each topic. Having now mapped and clearly visualized how we need to execute this uh, user group exercise and reflecting, I suppose, on some other real life issues of using MindGenius in similar situations, I would suggest we are now ready to allocate tasks and task owners to take our thinking and planning through to required actions and deliverables. So in terms of managing tasks, MindGenius will allow us to capture and visualize the what, the who, and the when. So I've allocated a resource and a date to that branch, the basic elements for managing any task, action, or deliverable. Applying this simple process to all the relevant branches or tasks ensures visualization and buy-in to what needs to be done how it all fits together, what the responsibilities are, and of course the all important time scales. Although we don't have time to cover all functionality in this short presentation, it's worth mentioning that if desired, MindGenius can synchronize with Microsoft Outlook for task management. It can send the, the allocated tasks, the selected tasks to Outlook, and you can manage them there, and we can sync back to see, to update MindGenius on how it's going. So MindGenius also provides its own capability to record, track, and status tasks, as well as having an intuitive 
filter functionality that allows you to be more efficient in terms of monitoring and controlling tasks through to completion, looking at interrogating it for due dates, for your own tasks, for the status of any tasks, and allowing them the map to depict it, to answer the questions that you're asking of it. What I want to share with you now is the way that Mind Genius enables you to prioritize and analyze information. To show you this, I'm going to, sh to use a map that portrays a group brainstorm. A brainstorm that was used to capture ideas for improving the business. You can see, without reading the detail, that many ideas were volunteered and captured easily and quickly. As with any similar information gathering uh, exercise or brainstorm, we need to quickly move on to possibly prioritizing this information and to come to well-informed decisions on what to concentrate on and or what to action first. So let's see how the categories within the Analyze ribbon can be applied to help you with prioritization and decision making. In this example, can we imagine we are required to agree priorities based on the level of importance of each topic captured to the business? One of the category groups, the impact group, containing the descriptors high, medium, and low, uh, will be used to apply a category to each branch. And it's quite simply uh, a case of selecting a branch and easily and quickly applying the relevant category that the, particip the participants agree on uh, in terms of the importance qualification in this exercise. And that is actually an important collaborative piece uh, as part of the Mind Genius process here, the collaboration and communication around actually agreeing what the priorities are. Once this exercise is complete, and again, just, in the, just to, to manage the time, we can now uh, look at uh, what the map would look like, look like fully categorized. We can apply the filter to enable us uh, to look at, for instance, the high impact priorities, and we can also hide the gray, the non-matching. Incidentally, there are many business-oriented uh, categories in the Mind Genius category library, but you can also customize this area uh, to, to uh, enable and use your own categorization for risk, for performance, for priorities, or whatever. Let's now uh, develop this process further and explore how we can take multiple tasks similar to the tasks in this exercise forward as a project plan. Let's look at the Mind Genius project planning capabilities. To do this, once again, I'm just going to use uh, an example map, a pre-prepared map to save time. I want to share with you a basic map depicting a simple project outline for demonstration uh, purposes only. This is one example of a basic work breakdown structure com comprising of four phases and four task activities for each. But obviously, my genius can cope with any amount of phases and tasks. We can present this uh, in this layout for visualization, but more importantly, to remind ourselves of how the Mind Genius mind mapping format and the use of Map Explorer is an excellent way of creating, visualizing, and structuring any project plan. We can focus on any particular stage or phase uh, and Mind Genius really excels in this crucial upfront capture and scoping of the project requirements and the stru structuring of what in reality is your work breakdown structure. When you think of how important collaboration and the upfront detailed planning is to the success of a project, Mind Genius simplifies the whole engagement, collaboration, capture, visualization, and understanding process. We can now move to creating a project plan by, for instance, exporting to MS project, or uh, more conveniently and more practic practically, converting our map work breakdown structure to an integral uh, Gantt view, all within Mind Genius itself. The Mind Genius Gantt view overcomes your need for other expensive or cumbersome project management tools. This structure is now a project schedule of a Gantt chart, and the map is synchronized as well. So, for example, we have the map and the Gantt chart in synchronicity. If we change or update the map work breakdown structure, the changes will automatically be made to the Gantt schedule, ideal for ongoing variations, change requests, etc. You can also see the hierarchical structure of the project taken from the map format, and you can see the default duration and start and finish dates. We don't have time to go through the whole Mind Genius project 
the scheduling management and reporting functionality. But if I show you another project example, you can see that we can allocate uh, time scales. We can uh, link tasks. We can create interdependencies. We can indicate milestones, and so on and so forth. Incidentally, uh, the work breakdown structure uh, can uh, work very well in terms of uh, looking at identifying the critical path analysis. We can look at resource allocation indicator to see how people are resourced throughout the timeline of the project. And at this live stage of the project after launch, you're able to use the intuitive and easy to use MindGenius functionality to monitor and manage any size of project through the task property area for each and every task, where you can apply uh, the status. Uh, you can filter as well on the, 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 the task uh, progress uh, and end dates due for completion and so on. And you can also uh, look at exporting the whole Gantt chart into a professional uh, presentation ready report to an export to Word functionality. All this functionality to ensure continuous visibility and tracking of every single detail of the project through to completion. So we've been through the whole uh, MindGenius uh, overview, if you like. We've seen uh, how you can gather information quickly. You can structure and navigate maps, gaining clarity and focus and understanding of captured information through visualization, categorization, and analysis capabilities. And you can manage tasks and actions through to even planning and scheduling and managing projects. I hope you've seen that and appreciated the power of MindGenius, as we call it, more than just mind mapping, where it's not just about the product or even functions and features, but a daily use way of working that brings huge benefits to uh, your key business activities. Increased efficiency, a more visual and protective way of working, saving time and effort, not to mention that all-important clarity uh, and focus at every stage going from thinking to doing. And some examples uh, of these are that you will have more effective meetings, better planning sessions, enhanced brainstorming sessions, you'll be able to manage information overload better, you'll be focused, have focused on visible task management, and you've got an improved, engaged uh, collaborator process and visual process for managing projects all the way through. In terms of what's next, if you haven't downloaded MindGenius yet, uh, please do so. We offer a full, free, 30-day full product free 30 day download for your use. And there are many uh, resources available to you uh, within the product uh, and from the resources section on our website www.mindgenius.com all to help you get up and running with MindGenius. We're also on social media, on Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn as well as having our own blog. Uh, but please don't hesitate to contact, contact us direct if you require further help. We'd be delighted to hear from you and we will do our very best to provide you with any help or assistance that you may require. If you have been in contact with one of our account managers, either email or call them direct, or email us at info at mindgenius.com. And finally, if you're looking for proper training or anything to do with, on anything to do with MindGenius functionality, or more importantly, its application to enhance your everyday uh, business activities or projects, we offer a range of client development services, including tailored training and consultancy services. Please get in touch if we can help with in any way to help you get better use of MindGenius or wider adoption. But for now, uh, from all at MindGenius, thank you for taking time uh, to be with us. We really appreciate it. And thank you very much indeed. <laughs>